eight AMA National Road Racing Championships, five Daytona 200 wins, 86 career AMA wins. These are the accomplishments of just one man, the winningest road racer in AMA history, Miguel Duhamel. Perhaps even more impressive is the diversity of his achievements. The 1995 AMA Superbike Championship, 32 AMA Superbike victories, five AMA Super Sport titles, the Super Sport class record for the most race wins, 41, and the longest winning streak at 10. The last rider to win titles in both the 600 Super Sport and the Superbike class in the same year, 1995. Two 600 class AMA Formula Extreme Championships. Without a doubt, Duhamel was AMA Road Racing's most dominant rider through the 1990s and early 2000s. How did he do it? An intense, competitive spirit, great physical conditioning, and an attention to detail no matter how small. His competitive drive manifested itself early in life when his father, AMA Motorcycle Hall of Famer Yvonne Duhamel, taught him to ride. It started with motocross when Miguel was nine years old. His goal was to make the podium in every race. With age and experience, he soon knew that he had to be smarter than the competition, so he paid close attention to chassis setup and tire selection. Duhamel had a rigorous conditioning program that made sure he always had energy in reserve for a strong finish. Duhamel was one of the early riders to cross-train on bicycles. During his long career, Duhamel rode for five different factories in AMA and international competition. Along the way, he suffered his share of injuries. He was very lucky to survive a 1998 crash at Loudoun, New Hampshire that sent him into a concrete barrier and injured his leg so severely that doctors feared amputation might be necessary. But Duhamel instead opted for bone grafts, and the following spring, against the advice of family and friends, he appeared at Daytona International Speedway with a cane and the unwavering determination to compete in both the 200 and the Super Sport races. On a cloudy, overcast afternoon at Daytona International Speedway, the 58th running of the Daytona 200 has come down to these two men, Miguel Duhamel on the Honda, Matt Millett on the Suzuki. The infield is done for the final time. The chicane is behind them. It is pin the throttle, tuck your chin down on the tank, and pick your line as they come through NASCAR three and four and head for the trioval area. 17 is Duhamel, 66 is Milan. The crowd is on its feet. He's gonna try the high side as Milan, but he will not get it done as Miguel Duhamel picks up his second victory of Daytona Bike Week, his third win in the Daytona 200. Let's talk about the leg. How much does it hurt right now, and were you having any problems on the race course? It hurts pretty good. You know, it's it's it's, it's doing pain right now, but uh, uh, it only got better. On the track, it wasn't too bad. It's just a fatigue factor. It was harder for me to drive and get myself on the bike at the right position. Although his goal was just to score points, his competitive spirit drove him to win both races. A career highlight that marked him as an AMA Ironman. Throughout his career, Miguel Duhamel has demonstrated his greatness as a motorcycle competitor, and in recognition of his many achievements, the AMA proudly welcomes him into the AMA Motorcycle Hall of Fame. <laughs>